Good afternoon, everyone, and you're very welcome to this session where um, we're going to be talking about making the most of the Spring Fair, which is happening next week. So my name is Jenny McCauley. I work in the career service here at Queen's, and um, I am joined today by Jin, who is a final year law student. And Jin is going to represent all of you by asking me lots and lots of questions about the fair next week, what it involves and how you can make the most of the platform. So Jin, I am going to pass over to you. And would you like to ask me the first question? Yes, Jenny. Hi. So can you tell me what exactly is the Spring Careers Fair and why should I attend the Spring Careers Fair? Okay, Jen, that's a great question. Um, so the Spring Careers Fest, the Spring Careers Fair is happening next week. Um, it's a recruitment fair. It's the flagship event of our Spring Careers Festival. It is happening next Wednesday from two o'clock until six o'clock. And um, I think the question you've got to ask is why would you not attend, really? <laughs> Um, because um, we are providing an amazing opportunity on the online platform. We have over 100 employers who are there. Um, those employers have lots of opportunities, which I'll showcase later, and lots and lots of jobs. And equally, if you're not sure what you're looking for, all of those employers will have their profiles up on the online platform. So you can just go in and browse around and have a look. Um, there's lots and lots of opportunities and I'll showcase the platform later, but um, it's a great event and we would encourage all of our students to go to it. That's great to hear. By any chance, could I get a sneak peek of uh, what companies will be attending the Spring Careers Fair? Sure, of course. Um, I will show you in the platform some of the companies that are attending. I will mention our event partners. So we have lots of event partners who are joining us and helping us with the festival. And they've been delivering sessions all week to help you prepare for the fair. I'll also just um, mention that if you go to the Spring Careers Festival website, then you're able to watch and rewatch all of those sessions, which will help you prepare. Um, our event partners are Slice, KPMG, PwC and Baker McKenzie. But equally, if we go onto the event platform, which I'll show you, there are over 100 companies from all sorts of um, industries. So I'll give you a little sneak peek once we look on the platform, Jen. Oh, that sounds exciting. Mm -hmm. Now, um, what sort of opportunities will be on offer during the Spring Careers Fair? Okay, so again, when we look on the platform, I'll show you how you can filter and find the most relevant opportunities for you. But really, this fair is has something for everyone. Um, so there will be graduate roles, but also lots of work experience opportunities and internships. So lots to look forward to and lots for every year group. Now, how do I register for this exciting event? Okay, Jen, so I'm just going to stop my slide presentation now. And if you bear with me, I am going to share my screen. And I am going to show you um, a little sneak peek of the platform and guide you through how you would register. So um, I am going to share my screen and then we will come on to the um, event platform. So you would register for the fair by um, going to, you can see up here, virtualcareersfairs.qb.ac.uk. And then you will find <clears throat> all of our events listed and you can register for the fair. Equally, just to mention, um, all of you will have received an all student email. So all the details of how to register the fair are on that. So if you haven't looked at your inbox, I would advise you to do so now and you'll find all of those details there. Okay, that sounds, actually, that sounds really exciting. Are there any benefits of registering early? For sure, Jin, yeah, we would recommend to everybody you get onto the platform now. So um, this is the platform as it looks at the minute, as we can see our event partners are up here at the top, but also you can at this point, this is our lobby. So our lobby is open. So you can go in and you can browse those organizations already. Um, there's a filter here that you can sort through the organizations. I'll demonstrate all the functionality later, but you can click on the companies. So for example, if I click here, um, if a company isn't online, you can choose to follow them and then the company will be able to see your interest. Equally, um, you can go on and you can book some video conversations. Um, so I'll show you how that happens, but you can plan your day. There's a little calendar section and I'll talk about that in more detail. But um, also the other thing is if you register early, Jin, you will be on our mailing list. Now we're not gonna bombard you, but you will get a 24 hours and 15 minute to go reminder of the event. And also on those important communications, there's gonna be um, some tips on making the most of the fair, those last minute kind of things that you want to think about. So the earlier you register, you can go on, browse the companies, plan your day, and also get those last minute reminders and tips and tricks. 
wow, I really never knew there would be so much and so many benefits to registering early. Now, Jenny, um, to be really honest with you, I don't exactly know how an online fair really works. So could you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, sure, Jen. And that's a really good question. I'm going to come back onto my platform here and just talk to you about this because, um, you know, it's, it's a bit new territory. Some people have been on an online fair before. Some people won't. So when you arrive on our event platform, you're going to see just this general information. You can go on and have a little look and read some of this information about what it involves. Also, there's a little video that shows you um, what the fair looks like. OK, then you can see the tabs across the top that you can look at your companies. So that is um, the section that I was in earlier. Up at the top here, we have um, a career zone and that's an information zone. So if you're stuck in the day and you want a little bit of information, you're not sure what you're doing, you can certainly come in and ask us some questions and we will help you out. There's also careers consultants at the end of that if you have a career related question. Also, when you go on, you can browse the organizations. So you see here, there's lots of organizations and you can filter them. So at the top right hand side, you can filter, you can just start alphabetically if you're not sure what you're looking for. And that will allow you then just to browse the different companies. You can also um, sort by the most relevant. And I'll talk to you about how the system works at the back end to pull that out. You can also sort by jobs. So the organizations that have the most jobs on offer. And finally, if you start chatting on the day, you can sort by active chats. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in terms of the chat feature. Um, again, you can go straight to the jobs. So if you're really there to look for a graduate role or work experience opportunity, you can search and filter the jobs. And I'll go into a little bit more detail about that later. OK, so I'm just going to come back to the general information. And um, basically, um, I'll show you a little bit later how you can edit your profile and you should be able to edit your profile. And when I talked about that filtering, when you create your profile, Jen, it allows you to put a lot of fields in. So you can put the minimum in um, if you really don't want to share that much information. But if you're really keen and you want to be proactive, you can put a lot of information in that profile. And then the organizations who are there, they get that information, whatever you allow them to see, they'll get that in their back end. And they'll be able to actually match you against what their opportunities are or what their company's looking for. So that's really exciting because again, if you're there and you're not sure what you're looking for, you can complete your profile, you can go in, and those companies will proactively reach out to you. You don't need to take their chats. You don't need to respond, but they can send you messages and invite you into chat. So you can just go on and browse and that proactive sort of interactivity between the companies will be there. So what I would say is the biggest bit of advice is don't be worried about the online fair. Um, again, I'll just show you here. Um, if you go to um, go.qb.ac.uk forward slash careers fairs, and again, it's in that all important email you will have received. We have a whole section here called information for students. OK, this information for students takes you through exactly how you access the fair, how you prepare for it. There's a whole raft of resources, including tutorials, videos, checklists different things. There's a fairs guide that you can download and take your time and look at that. And there's a little checklist that tells you exactly what to do when. So yeah, I would just um, make sure that you get onto that information for students, look at it and um, don't be fearful of the fair. Um, it goes on all day. It's there from two to six. So when you come on, just relax, take your time, browse around the stalls and most of it. Sorry, I'm just going away for a bit. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we're back on. There we go. Yeah. Thanks, Jen. Okay, so that was how an online um fair works. Jen, do you want to go on to the next question? Yes. Um while I was looking at the platform when you were showing me, um I did see that there were loads of jobs and loads of companies. So how exactly do I filter out the employers that are most relevant to like my course or what I study or like my interests? Is there any way that I can filter them out? Sure, of course. And this is the great thing about an online fair is that it allows you to do that. So again, I've shown this to you a little bit, but you can go into the companies and you can filter. So again, the more you put in your profile, the more it's going to help you filter. And you can filter by the companies that are most relevant to you. 
equally you can go into the jobs and the jobs has have a lot of filters down the side so you can filter what you're looking for but also the jobs categories so you can look in lots of different sectors locations um languages um, so there's lots and lots of filtering options. If I go back again into the companies, again, down the side here, you'll see there are 96 stalls online. By next week, we'll have over 100. And you can also filter by industry sector. You can filter by the company status, um, the different programs and opportunities that the company is offering, by benefits offered, company size, and where they have offices. So lots of information you can actually find out before you even speak to the organization. So it's a real benefit of the online platform. That's actually really great to hear. Does anything happen if I press the follow button on an employer? Sure, okay. So um, this is again a really good feature and um, it's a good idea to get onto the platform early. So you can go on and you can filter all of your organizations in advance. So perhaps you might filter by industry sector and by the types of roles you're looking for. Once that pulls the companies into the filtering, then you can click on um, and there stalls this little follow button. So if I click on follow, you can see here um, it, it shows me that I'm following that company. What that does in then is that allows the organizations in the back end to see that you've followed them. So it expresses your interests in those companies and then they can proactively reach out to you and invite you in for some conversations. Wow, that's actually really fascinating the way that technology has like improved so much that we can, you know, interact in this way. I've noticed that beside the follow button, there is a one to one conversation. What happens if uh, I press that button? Okay, so this again is a fantastic feature. So I'm gonna go in here to um, just by random Alchemy Technology Services. Okay, so you can see when you click on any of the organizations, it will bring you to their company stall. In their company stall, there are lots of different features. Okay, so you can go straight to meeting their team. You can look at their jobs online and you can um, start a chat with them um, relating to lots of different chat topics, okay? Um, I'll talk about that a little later. The video conversation. So I'm going to click on here and you'll see um, that brings me down here to the one to one conversations. OK, so these organizations are offering you the opportunity to book a video conversation. You can see who you'll have those conversations with. So you can see their name, but also their job title. So you can ensure you're talking to the most relevant person. You can click on here and see the available slots that that person has and you can select the time and that requests a video conversation with that employer. Um, so it just allows you to plan your day. Now the employer has the discretion to accept your video conversation or not. So you'll need to check back into the platform and you can see here as well, there's a little calendar that allows you to plan your day and it will list the different video conversations. So if you've booked various, that's a nice tool to allow you to plan your day. But again, Jen, this is why we really recommend that students get on the platform now, because the earlier you get on, the earlier you can look at the companies that are offering these video conversations and actually book on at a time that really suits to you as well. That's really great to hear, Jenny. Now say if I just happen to miss out on an opportunity to book a one-to-one -one conversation, uh, is there any way I could chat to the employer? Yeah, sure. Jen, so this is really what the platform's all about. So on the day, once the platform goes live, um, we will um, the chat will be enabled. Okay. So, and again, once you leave, once you leave a company, it allows you to click on and follow them nice and easily. Okay. So once I go on, on the day, um, it will allow me to chat with a company. So I'm going to go into, um, Baker McKenzie here, one of our sponsors. Okay. So you'll see again, I should do those video conversations, but here on the day, you'll be able to start your own chat. The organizations have put in their chat topics so you can decide what you want to talk about and they will filter you to the correct person at their end on their team to speak about these things. So you might want to talk about job opportunities, graduate program, work culture or other queries. If you click on those, you'll see at the minute that the event isn't live. But once the event goes live, that will bring you to a live chat. The live chat um, is comes here and it's basically um, it's like text chat. But be prepared because the employer can request to go straight into a video chat with you. So if you're text chatting with them, they can ask you, could I elevate this into a video conversation? And by a seamless click of the button without leaving the platform, you can then go into a video conversation with them and have a more detailed conversation. So you can always say you don't want to, but um, I would suggest that you're prepared to have that video conversation and make the best impression. That's actually really great to hear. Like. 
I'm actually really impressed. Now, I noticed that you actually touched a bit upon uh, how to plan your day, but could you tell me about that a bit more in detail? I'm not too sure like how it works and all that. Yeah, sure. So again, it's just um, that that messaging that we touched on earlier, that if you go in and say at the minute, a lot of the organizations we have told them to you know have their have their stalls ready so you can follow your organizations in advance and that just sets them up and allows you to um click on to follow it means that when you get to the event your time isn't wasted because those organizations will already see the interest you have in them and again if you book those one-to-one -one conversations so you can see for example slice our event partners have 20 available conversations so if you click here you can book those slots so again, it just helps you manage your day. So for example, if you're on campus and you know we have a lecture from two to three and one from four to five, then you can plan your day around that. And again, if you're forgotten or you're not sure when your video conversations are, when they've been accepted, you can just open up this little calendar here and it will give you your day planner and it will show you you've registered for the event and it will show you all the video conversations you've booked onto here. So it's just a nice little reference tool so that you can um, you don't have to write those video conversations down. It's all stored in the system for you. That's great. All right. Now, I know you've talked about the chat, but could you tell me a bit more in detail? How does the chat work with the employers? Yeah, sure. So I'm just going to open up and um, this is just, um, let's say, a little um, sort of example. Hang on. I'm just going to go into a little example sort of chat topic. So um, here, this is just a colleague of mine who was here and we were testing, but this just gives you a little bit of an example. So when you're chatting with an organization, it will come up like this and it's just basically a little chat message and you can type in your message and you just hit send and that'll send to the employer. You can also attach documents and all of that other functionality we would expect to find now in a system chat. Um, again, at any stage, what I would say is you can leave your chat and come back to it. So say, for example, you're having a good conversation with an employer and you need to say to them, look, I have to go to a lecture. Can I come back to this? Then um, you can do that and you can pick up your chat at any stage on the platform. You'll see it's basically like your mail all of your conversations are in here and you can go in and look at them at any stage. You can see here is say you can attach um, documents to type your message in. Um, equally, just to let you know, and um, you might be asking this later, Jen, but um, I suppose just to cover at this stage, those chats that you've initiated at the event, you can continue those on the platform afterwards or the employer can pick them up again. They're not lost either. So as if you log on back to the platform, if you think, goodness, that employer told me something really interesting, I can't remember what it was, you can go back into your chat message at any stage and refer back to it. That's actually really handy. Now, is there any option at all for a video call? Yeah, sure. So again, we've covered this earlier. Um, so the video calls are best booked by those one-to-one -one conversa conversations, Jim. Um, so, but as I say, what you can do is have that um, chat with an employer and you can ask them. So you, whilst the, our students can't initiate a video conversation by the click of a button themselves, what you can do is you can ask the employer for a video conversation. We have briefed all of our employers that this is functionality that they have and they will expect it. So if you're having a chat and it's going well, but actually you'd prefer to have a face-to-face -face conversation, you can politely request that the employer elevates the chat to a video call and then just make sure your camera's on, the usual, that you're dressed appropriately, that um, your microphone's working and um, yeah, then you can seamlessly go into a video call with them on the platform. Thank you so much, Jenny, for all this useful information. Wow, I'm completely impressed by how this uh, webinar works. Now, I noticed that there was that job function on the platform itself. Do you mind just going back in and showing me how do I find jobs on the yeah. platform itself? Yeah, perfect, Jen. That's a really good question. So I'm just going to go back into events. So at any stage as well, if you're sort of have, having trouble navigating around the platform, you can go back in to your events. So I'm going to go back in to the Spring Recruitment Fair and just into this jobs. So um, great news at the minute. We are a week out and we already have 147 jobs on the platform. We expect that number to rise as well this week as the employers get really focused on putting those jobs on. So if I go into the job section here, Again, you can search jobs, you can search by keywords. Um, you can also just browse if you're not really sure what you're looking for. And again, you'll see here where I talked about um, updating your profile. 
it will pull these jobs out based on how much they match your profile. So you'll see here I'm 57% profile match. And if you hover over that, it will tell you how your profile matches. Um, so I'll talk to you about that in a little while um, in terms of what you can do because you can tweak your profile as you go along. Equally, again, there's loads of filters down the left-hand side. So if I expand this, you can see all the filters. So you can um, filter by, say, for example, you're looking for a full-time job and you're looking for a full-time job in IT and software. That will filter then the relevant jobs for you. And again, it will give you um, the percentage profile match. It will tell you when the jobs are posted. You can click into any of those jobs. Um, and you should be able to, let me just see, um, you can click on into those jobs and then it will give you more detail. So you'll see in this, it gives you your key responsibilities, the criteria they're looking for, and there's actually an apply now button. So um, you can actually apply for the jobs on the platform as well. So just be ready to do that. And like I mentioned before, all of the sessions that have been running this week that you can find on our festival website. And um, so that's Spring Careers Festival. Um, help you prepare your CV, your cover letter, all of those important things for those applications. Um, and again, you can see here how your profile matches. And I'll talk to you in a little bit about how you might be able to tweak that a little bit better. Oh, yes, that's great to know. Uh, just excuse me for two seconds. <laughs> right, we are back on. Um, <laughs> Now, uh, yeah, so I did. Uh, thank you so much for the information on how I should match my profile and things like that. Now, if I want to like stand out from other attendees, like how do I get myself noticed in such an event? Okay, perfect. So um, I am going to show you again on this events platform. Um, there's lots of things that you can do. So you can see here, this is me. If you go onto the little menu here, you can see... Um, it tells you how complete your profile is and what areas you might, um, what you're missing is that it's totally up to you. You don't need to complete this, but it gives you options to do that. If I go to my profile, I'm gonna go here and just show you some options. So you can add a photograph that always personalizes the experience and gives um, you know, the employer a nice personalization there, but you don't have to do that. You'll still be able to get onto the fair without these fields. Um, again, you can add a little summary. Um, to describe yourself, you can add your education, um, your degree, any work experience you can add. You can upload a CV here on the left-hand side. You can um, add skills. So there's lots of skills. If you start typing, um, then it should bring up, you know, lots of different fields that you can add. So you can add your skills in there. If you've had any exchange abroad um, experiences, you can add it in there any languages and again you just add these in by clicking on the little um, pencils so I'm sure all of you are up to speed with how these systems work now but it's really really intuitive and straightforward. There's a section here um, where you can um, put a little bit about what makes you stand out and actually you can add some videos so those of you um, who are you know good at producing videos and showcasing that you can add some videos of yourself if you like and um, you can um, put down what your job preferences are so indicating to the employer what you're looking for and you can put down the preferred job categories and um, the location that you're looking for or your preferred location. So all of those profile fields are available for you to um, update and you can choose which of those you're going to make available to the um, employer. You can view your public profile at any stage so if you click on that that will allow you to view your public public profile. Um, and again, don't forget when you're on the platform, you can change that profile. So if you realize that, goodness, that company is looking for somebody with um, a bit of social media experience, and then you suddenly remember that you have um, been in charge of the social media account for your theater group, you can think, actually, I'll, I'll add that in. So as you go along, it's a dynamic system that you can add things in. Um, before you go and you can add those things in maybe before you have the conversation with the employer um, and that'll just help you match all of the relevant um, bits and pieces. Also when an employer is deciding at the back end who to prioritise in a chat, um, they might look at the most relevant students or if they're choosing who to pick for those video conversations, they potentially will look at those relevant fields and where that match is. So um, 
Again, it's totally voluntary. You can go into the fair with the minimum detail in your profile. But if you do want to really get yourself noticed and find those fantastic matches that the system um, is capable of drawing out, then it's a really good fun bit of functionality that you can complete that profile. Oh, that's actually very useful information to have, Jenny. Great. Now, I actually have, uh, it may sound a bit silly, but what do I do if I need help when I'm on the platform? Okay, so um, don't panic is the first thing. Um, like I said earlier, um, if I just go back into my events here and into the event, um, at the very top of the platform, you will see our career zone. So in behind this section, you will see that there are chat topics for technical help with the fair. Um, and also quick queries for our career zone. So our careers consultants will be taking quick queries, but um, myself and a few colleagues will be behind the scenes to offer you technical help with the fair. Um, there's also a little question mark here as well. It brings to your graduate land experts. So if we can't help you and it's a very specific technical problem, they should be able to help out with that. Um, equally on our career zone, there's lots of information um, about how to access the career service, what you can do. So a lot of that information about preparing for the fair and all of those sessions that we ran this week that on CVs and um, cover letters and all of those really useful bits of information on how to prepare, you'll be able to find those on the career zone. Equally um, on the event, if I just come out of this, um, you can go at any stage into your general information and the information um, about the event is on that. And at any stage, as I mentioned before, this information for students section of the website is here and um, all of the little tutorials and videos and how to use the fair are accessible here. Um, so lots and lots of information for you if you're just unsure on the day. Is it possible by any chance for me to just dip in and out of the, of the event as I like? Yeah, of course, Jen. Listen, we really understand that students are timetabled and you, you have a lot going on. You have, you know, lectures, maybe a bit of part time work and things that are happening. Um, so we are the platform is open from two till six in terms of live chat. But actually, you can go on at any stage now and after the event because the lobby is open. So you can go on and browse employers apply for those jobs if they're still open after the event as well. Um, the live chat is from two until six. So yeah, log on and off as you wish. As I say, book those video conversations around your timetable and those chats, if you start them um, and you need to go away and do something, just explain to the employer that you need to um, go away and come back and then they can keep your chat live. So then when you come back, for example, after your lecture, then you can pick up from where you left off with that employer. So say uh, with all these chats and all that, can I go back to conversations I've started like even after the event or can I still see the organizations? Can I still apply for jobs even after the event? Yeah, sure, you can indeed. Jen, this is what's great about this platform um, is that it captures all of that information um, for you. So this is your profile. And in your profile, um, there will be all of these conversations. So you can see, um, for example, I have conversations there that are from a fair a year ago. So all of those events that you've attended, your conversations will still be there for you to reference. Um, equally, you can. we're going to keep the event lobby open. So after the event, whilst you won't be able to live chat with the employers as such, you will still be able to go in and look at all of the companies, look at the jobs. And as long as the job, um, the jobs are still open, then you will be able to apply for them. I see. Now, what happens if I am on campus if the event is on? Are there any special events happening as well? Okay, so um, good news is um, the Student Guidance Centre will be open on the day. So if you're on campus and you need to pop into the Student Guidance Centre, we're going to have some individual tables laid out. Um, just bring your headphones. Um, you can hook up to the Wi-Fi and we, um, you can log on to the event equally, um, which is a nice development as well. Um, we have um, our app this year, okay? So you can go into your app store or your Play Store and you can search Graduate Land Events, okay? Again, that email that we sent you, all of the information is there. But if you just search Graduate Land Events, then you'll be able to find the app. You just go on, you search Spring Careers Ferry or you search Queen's University, you'll be able to find the relevant event. Click on that and then you log in as a Queen's University student. So it's log in through your own Queen's credentials and then the platform will be on your mobile app. 
and you can search for the jobs, the companies, you can have those video conversations, you can do your chats and everything through your mobile device. So it just means that you can keep in touch with the event on campus as well. That is really useful information to have. That was a lot to take in, but uh, Jenny, just one last question, if you don't mind. Um, what advice would you give to students now to help with their preparation for the fair? So um, what advice would I give to students? The first thing is get registered, get registered now. Um, I cannot advise that strongly enough um, because you'll get that head start in those video conversations you saw when I showed you the platform um, that some of those organizations are um, maybe have like 10 video, 10 conversations, 20 conversations. Those will get booked up really, really quickly. Okay. Um, I'm just going to stop my screen share now, Jin. So um, because we, I think we've demonstrated everything in the platform. So basically get registered. Um, so also start looking at your profile, start looking at all those organizations and follow the organizations you're interested in. Start to do those filters. You can apply for jobs at this stage if you want. So just plan your day out. The 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. will go really quickly. And if you think there's over 100 employers there who are available to speak to you, so you just want to make the most out of your day. Um, I would also say view our preparation sessions. So we've had preparation sessions that have been ongoing all week. They are going to be on our um, spring festival. So let me just see if I have the um, URL here. Um, so if we go to, um, hang on, I'm just going to share a little slideshow with you and hopefully there we go. We've got it. Okay. So, um, we have got, let's see, um, sorry, I'm just gonna go, um, forward here. Spring recruitment fair. Um, so those are our logins. Okay. So I'm going to leave the screen, um, blank for a little second. And actually, Jen, I am going to, if you don't mind, just move our position so they can access the QR code. Okay. <laughs> so basically we've got the QR codes here. So useful links, spring recruitment fair. You can register for the fair here by that QR code. And again, the QR code and short URL, URL for prepare for the fair. So look at your checklist, get registered, do all of your research. Um, and that's really important. Also, as I say, the Spring Festival has been going on all week. You can go on to the Spring Festival website and even those sessions that you've missed about acing your application, all of those really important sessions, you can now view. The videos are there for you to see. So go on to that. That's going to really, really help with your um, preparation. Um, and also don't forget, there's a couple of events as part of the Spring Festival that are happening before and after, um, so next week. So on the Tuesday, we have um, uh, lots of presentations from our partners. So you can go on the event listings and look at those really, really inspirational talks. Um, so worth looking at those. And then the day after the fair, we also have a build your experience day. So we're aware lots of students will be coming to um, look for work experience opportunities or to develop their skills. So um, I would also look again at the festival website and you can see that program events. It's all going to be on Instagram live and there'll be lots of information about how you can build your experience and your skills while you're at Queen's. Um, so yeah, I say all of the information is there for you. Um, it's packaged up really, really nicely. So the bit of advice is preparation is everything. Book that time out, look at how you maximize the time from two to six and get registered because you're gonna get those emails, those reminders and the top tips. Right, okay. Thank you so much for all of the for your for sharing. I bet that was really insightful, and I'm sure a lot of students have benefited from this uh, information and will from the fair next week as well. Okay, Jen. And if anybody has any questions, you can submit them here, or again, um, you know, you can come along on the day. So um, we've got our career zone there. Um, you can come along to the career zone, talk to us find out what you want, and this video will also be made available as well if you've only caught part of it. So. Um, I think that's it, Shin, unless you have any more questions for me. I think that's all of my burning questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, thank you very much, um, Jin, for uh, representing our students and asking all of those questions. As you all can see, there's lots of great functionality with this online platform, and it really is an opportunity not to be missed. So um, we look forward to seeing lots of you at the um, Spring Recruitment Fair, which is happening next Wednesday from 2 to 6, and hopefully at some of those Careers Festival events as well. And um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, Jenny. Okay.